Hi, in this video we're going to see how we can change the links in the menu bar of any template we download from bestblobbertemplates.net. Most of the templates will have menu bars built in, like the menu bar we have here, which is just a link of lists with anchor text. I have a template I downloaded from Best Blogger Templates here on this test blog and up here you can see there's a menu bar that's already been added and this menu bar already has links and already has text in for those links. Another feature this template has is what's called a drop down menu. So if you hover over some of the links that you see with the arrow, a drop down menu with more links will appear. When you download a template like this you'll obviously want to change those links. Now there are a number of ways that these that a menu bar may be built into the blog. It may be a gadget that's from I call the link list gadget, or the links may be built into the template, so the code could be in the template. And we're going to see how we can change both instances. So let's go to the design page for this test blog, which is here. And when we come to the design page, we'll see the links are actually visible here also. And this lets us know that the, these links are built into the template and they're in the template code and we're going to have to go in there if we want to change them. But sometimes it will actually be a link list which is much easier to change. I have one here in the sidebar and it would actually look something like this. You would see link list below the header. And if it is one of these, they're quite easy to change. You would just click the edit link. It will pop up like so and you will have the option to add and remove and change the links. If you wanted to add a link, you would add the new site URL. And you would add the name you want to give, that's what would appear. Like so. Once you're happy with that, that you have the URL in and the name in, you will click add link. And then you can save the gadget. You also have the option here with the arrows to move down and up the links that will change the order of the links you have added. And you can edit and delete the links also. And once you're done, you click save. I'm going to remove this. Okay, so if it's a link list, it's quite simple and straightforward, but there's a little bit more to it if you want to change. And a menu bar just built into the template code. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the edit HTML link and what we want to do is find these links within your template. And the quickest way to do that is to find the anchor text or the name of one of the links. So if we go back to the test blog we'll see the first link here is, has the title helpful links. So if we find helpful links we'll find the very start of the code for this menu bar. To do this we're going to click and hold control on our keyboard and we're going to press F and up the bottom you'll see a uh, search bar pop up. If you're using some of the other browsers like Chrome it actually comes up in the top right, Internet Explorer, they call, they, they, I think it comes up down the bottom as well but you'll see the search bar come up and you type in the name of the first label, the very first uh, link which is called helpful links so we type that in, get in there again And you can see this has jumped directly down to where that is within our template, which is right here. If we click it again, it will highlight it first. So that's the very start of our menu bar. And we can now change the links. You will obviously need to remember, because this has a drop-down menu, you will have three other links associated with this first link. So you'll have well, here we have helpful links, we have blogger, test tag, and image fader. So you see here we've helpful links, blogger test tag and image fader and that would change by changing the name there and changing the URL you would change those four links the main link and the three drop downs you can see the next one is alternative home and that has no drop down and if we scroll down here we can see alternative home there the next one then is features and features then will have a drop down with elements page full width like so and skins and portfolio has three more links and the about and contact then have no more links added onto them and basically you can go through each of those so to go through each of those let's go back to the very first one again we basically change the text here so we would remove the text helpful links and we put in something we wanted to link to Let's put in blogger and beside that you'll see the URL. So you have the ahref anchor higher reference and we have then the URL goes in here. And once I change that, that's done. 
I can then move on to the next one and change that and move down so on until I have them all changed to the links I want from my blog. Um, many of you will want to add the tags, labels or categories from your blog into the menu bar. If you wanted to do that, a quick way to do it is on your blog you will have a labels list or a categories list as I have it called here. And just hover over the label that you want to link to, right click and when you right click you'll see the option to copy link location. Click that and now that links location, the URL of that link has been copied to my clipboard. So if I go back and I want to change the blogger one here, I would basically change the URL which goes in here. So obviously you have a href equals and then your URL goes in. So let's paste in what we just copied, our test tag. And that's gone in there. And then we change the text to test tag. And you can go through and obviously add all your labels or links to whatever you want, like your contact forms and about me pages and so on. Once you're happy, you'll save your template. And when you go back to your blog, your links will have changed. So you see we changed this to blogger and we changed the two of these are now test tag. And that's how you change the links on the templates you download from bestbloggertemplates.net.